Hi guys, I'm Dimension Jumper, and you're probably wondering why I've got a different background. Um, the background that I used originally for my reviews and top 10s really wasn't working, so from now on, when I'm doing top 10s and reviews, I'm going to do what YouTubers typically do and film on their bedroom. So, today I'm going to be reviewing The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, which was released in 2007 and published by Nintendo. Now, this was one of the very first Zelda games that I ever received as a kid, and I played a lot out of growing up. And yeah, so I'm going to review the, this game today. So, the story is about Link and Tetra from The Wind Waker um, going and finding a new Hyrule. And along the way, they find a ghost ship which is rumoured to have treasure on board. Uh, Tetra then aborts the ship and then it's mysteriously kidnapped or something and p because of the way she screams and stuff like that. So Link ab aborts the ghost ship and tries to save her but ends up falling to the sea and being washed up on this island called Merkay Island. And he meets this fairy called Celia who's lost her memory and has been raised by this man Oshis who she meet, she introduces to Link. Uh, so Oshis learns that Link wants to find the ghost ship so he can save Tetra. And Oshis suggests that they that's both Celia and Link find Linebeck, who's this captain guy, captain pirate guy. Um, so they do and yeah that and they find once they find him they learn that they need to find some clues on, on, on whereabouts of, to find the ghost ship. So, yeah, that's basically the whole story of the game. So, the story, pretty self-standard um, for a typical Zelda game. The hero has to find, they have to find or save the uh, princess or friend or sister or whatever. And, yeah. So the graphics are kind of good because because this game uses the graphics from The Wind Waker and and it's a basically continuation of that game to this one and it still kind of falls up as I said and it's quite it's quite good um, and the combat is pretty simple uh, you've got a slash attack a an attack, a jump attack, that sort of thing. Uh, and basically, what these moves do, if you, because this this game is using a stylus, if you draw a circle, a uh, link can do a spin attack. If he slashes from left to right, that will be a slash attack. And if you point at an enemy, he'll just run up to it and do a jump attack. Um, yeah, so the enemies in the game are quite simple. You've got your standard choo choos, which are basically these coloured jellies with a face. You've got your bats, your rats, um, these centipede looking thingies. Um, and yeah, and you've also got phantoms, which are basically these humanoid beings that are in. Uh, armor, and the very is like two various ones. You got your the main one, which is basically a big armor guy, and, if, and then there's another one that can warp to your location if you're being found, um, which I'll get to later. So the dungeons in the game are quite simple. You've got your main ones that you go to once and f fight the boss and collect what you ever need you need, you need to get to improve or on the story so yeah but the main one that you have to repeat repeat going to is the ocean, the temple of the ocean king which is where you find linebeck and various sea charts in order to get clues to the ghost ship now, the ghost ship, it's like Jake and Logan Paul. You, they might appear once, but after time, 
they'll appear again and again, and it gets really annoying. And let's be honest, if you play the, if you play the Phantom Hourglass, the Tim of the Ocean King is trash, and so is Jake and Logan Paul. So I don't know why I'm bringing them up here, but they're a good comparison. So, and in the game, and the, uh, more specifically, the Tim of the Ocean King, you get the Phantom Hourglass. Um, which basically helps link um, traversing the temple and getting more closer to wherever out of the ghost ship. And, and in order to, to fill the hourglass you need stands of hours and that is where the bosses come in. Now there are about six or seven bosses in the game and, and they all contain stands of hours. Now the final one does, isn't well, it is required to be final boss, but it isn't required to put that into the into the Phantom Hourglass because you're defeating the final boss. So, and after you've beaten each boss, they will pretend to send hours, which will be needed to fill uh, the Phantom Hourglass, and you're given two minutes each time. So, um. Yeah, I like, I like a lot of the bosses. I quite like. I like there's a two-headed dragon uh, that's quite cool. Um, this big humanoid robot guy, um, and uh, a mage wizard person who can split herself into three uh, mini versions of herself. Uh, and yeah, I, that's a quite cool. The items of the game are quite standard. You've got boomerangs, bows, bombs, grappling hooks, shovels, and uh, a grappling hook and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, and probably my favourite item out of the whole bunch is um, the grappling hook, because not only can you like hit, uh, hit enemies with it, hit switches, you can also pull levers and pull yourself towards objects or have objects pulled towards you if they're light enough or heavy enough or etc etc. Yeah, so halfway through the game, you find the ghost ship with the help of the three fairies, the fairy of power, wisdom, and courage. Uh, which the, the fairy of courage happens to be um, Celia's half, other half, is because she was attacked and she had a she had been split in two. And once you find the ghost ship, and you find Tedro, who's been turned to stone. And Osher's tells you that you have to find and defeat Bellum if you want to uh, save the world and save Tetra. So he makes you find three, find Zazu, and find the Phantom Sword, which can, which is the only sword that can kill Bellum. Um, but he doesn't have it. But it finds three sacred metals in order to make the uh, sword. And once you find those three metals from three different tribes, like there's one that's in with the Gorons, one with the Land of the Dead, and one with the with people who like who like this name. I forgot. I think they're called Akinu. I think I think that's the pronunciation of the of the name, Akinu. Um, yeah. So once you find these three metals, Sazu will build or make or forge the um, sword. You ha then once you get the sword, you'll be able to. Defeat Bellum, which is who is at the very bottom of the Temple of the Ocean King. Um, yeah, and what I like about Bellum is how his design is. Like, he's basically, even though he's, he's the gigantic octopus squid thing, um, I quite like how his boss fight changes. Like, in the first phase, you can you have to try and hit his eye, but, but he has like uses his tentacles, he uses gunk stuff, and he has he spins around in a circle on the bottom floor of the boss room. Second phase he possesses the ghost ship and final phase he takes over Linebeck who has been again a part of your journey. Um, yeah so Linebeck he at the beginning at the beginning of the game he's kind of like this trying to be like this overconfident pirate guy. Okay kid you just go and do what you need to be doing. I have to stay by the boat because I'm a real man. But who ends up, who turns out to be kind of a coward. But towards the end of the game, he kind of like, he kind of like tries and protects Lincoln Tetra. 
but ends up being possessed by like by Bellum and becomes Bellum Beck. And um, basically, the boss fight for that is basically a gigantic phantom with just a sword, who can do like spirit attacks and, and create whirlwinds around himself and stuff. So, yeah, and once you've defeated Bellum, uh, you then free Oshis, who turns out to be a massive whale. Um, yeah, and I quite liked it because it was all kind of like, kind of like, um, with the divorce type style. So like, even though to Link and Tendra it might have been like, at, f at like ages to Link to Tetris crew, it's only been like ten minutes. That's that's quite cool. That I quite like that. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's my review for Legend of Zelda: Phantom Hourglass. I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you in the next episode or video.